Let's do it properly. Okay, we're testing voltage drop on a starter. This vehicle won't start. The starter just clicks. We're going to put one lead on the uh, negative side of the battery and one lead over on the positive. You notice our battery voltage is 12.87, so we have a good charge of battery. Okay, I'm going to let him get in the vehicle now and try to start it. And uh, we'll see what it does. Okay, starter click. Voltage dropped a little, but it didn't... Uh, didn't start. No, sir. Battery voltage didn't drop below 12, about 12.5. So uh, it's definitely not a discharged battery. Okay. I'm going to take my lead off the positive and we're going to check the negative. It's easier to check it first. So I'll move my lead over here to a good ground on the motor. He still has his lead on the negative side over there. Okay. We're not trying to start it. He's going to start it and try to hold it forward until we get a good reading here. So go ahead and try to start it. Okay, 0.13 voltage drop, that's good, on our uh, negative side. So that's not a problem on the negative side. We only have a tenth of a volt voltage drop on that side. All right, next we're going to remove uh, the lead off the ground. We're going to put it on the positive side. Here you put your lead on the positive post. Okay, notice we have it directly on the post there, not the clamp. And we're going to move over to the starter down here and have someone hold it down on the uh, positive post of the starter if we can get to it. Okay, we're over here on the side where the starter is. Can't see it real well, but right there's the starter and we're touching our lead on the uh, post on the starter where the battery post is attached. Can't see that real good, but we're uh, just touching right on the post there. So. Uh, we have it on our positive post right there. Over here, we have our lead on our uh, positive post right here. We have our meter hooked up. Uh, it's actually already reading a little. We're going to crank it and see what the meter reads on the voltage drop. So we're dropping 11.7 .7 volts. Okay. Uh, even with the key off, we have a voltage drop across there. So. Uh, got a little bit of resistance in the positive circuit. Actually, quite a bit of resistance in the positive circuit. Now we're going to move our leads and try to find out where it's at. Okay? Okay. We're going to check and see if our clamp is our problem. Uh, we have one lead on the post. I'm going to touch the clamp here to see if it's between the clamp and post. If you notice, I've got one lead on uh, the post, the other one on the clamp itself. We're going to look at our meter and uh, see what it reads when we try to start. Okay. So it's not between our clamp and our post. Yeah, we're not dropping any voltage. Next thing I'm going to do is he's going to keep his lead on the post there. I'm going to touch up on some of these cables to see if it's getting through to the cable itself. I'm not sure which one uh, goes to the starter here. Notice he has a lot of accessories attached to this. But I think one of these running down is probably going to be it, so we're going to try one of them and see if it's actually making two connection to that. So if I can get in here on that somewhere and touch just that right there, we'll see if that's where it's dropping. Okay, notice we already have some voltage drops, so it's probably it. Okay, he still has his lead on the post. I've got mine on the cable, the eyelet of the cable that goes down to the start. Okay, now he's going to crank it and we'll see if it's dropping between that point. Go ahead. Yep, looks like it's where all our voltage drops right there. Okay, really just to verify that, move your uh, clamp to the, your lead up to the clamp there, mm -hmm. right there. Now he's got it on the clamp and I've got it on this little eyelet that's supposed to be making a good connection to that clamp. And we're going to do it again and see what it reads. Okay, Rui is on the clamp, and uh, I'm on the eyelet there that's supposed to be attached to the clamp with this wing nut. Okay, Rui hold on there good, and we're going to try to see if we can get it to drop here and make sure and verify that's where it's at. Okay. Yep, there's our voltage drop right there, dropping all our voltage. Notice that we should be getting a good connection between this clamp and this eyelet, and we're not. We're actually, these guys lead on the clamp. I've got mine on the eyelet and we're dropping actually about 11 or 12 volts. So we're going to take this off, clean it, and recheck it and see what happens. Okay, uh, we've used a wire brush now to really clean that up and get the copper shining on this. It looks a lot better than it did. 
Uh, we're going to put some dielectric grease on it. We're going to clean the other one off. Notice he had some accessories on this radio and a lot of things the guys like to have on it. Notice we still have yet to clean this one, so we're going to have to clean it up real good and make it nice and shiny too. Okay, we've uh, taken the connection off. We've cleaned on it. Uh, I'm going to get back on to that clamp on the eyelet right here. Uh, try to get right on top of it there. Grease on the battery post, and hopefully the engine will start. And we won't have any voltage drop to mention. So, all right, let's go ahead and start the vehicle now. Started right up, dropped maybe a hundredth of a volt, so that was good. So we fixed our problem. Notice we did that without having to take a lot of excess stuff off, and uh, without having to remove any unnecessary parts. Most people probably would jump right in, took the battery clamp off, cleaned it, put it back on that same problem. So we went and pinpointed through testing exactly where the problem was, went straight to it and fixed it.